you know what I wanted for today. I want to have a good day at work. I wanted to come home safe, safe and quietly, happily, and sit down. And for me to basically just sit back and turn on the internet and have a good time here on the internet. But little did I know, until I saw this trailer, my day would be switched around from a pretty good day to an excellent day. I'm sorry for the oh, stocky like, background noise on my computer here. I really do apologize for that type of sound. Yeah, I saw the Star Wars trailer. Um, I saw the trailer for Star Wars The Force, the teaser trailer for Star Wars, for Star Wars The Force Awakens. And I will feature a link for that down below in the, in the description box area for you guys to see. If you, want to, if you wish to see it, because who the hell doesn't want to see it? And let's just say it doesn't disappoint. I. I'm so fucking thankful for this film. Being married, or even just for this trailer. <sighs> like, after a good seeing this trailer and then having some time to calm my ass down, I was just really happy to see this. With the director at Helms here, J.J. Abrams, who brought Star Trek and Star Trek in the Darkness, which, I, by the way, I love those films. Going up into this film with those type of mind, with the type of mind that had Star Trek, for me, it was like, wow, that's brilliant, because I love those two Star Trek films to death. Those were two, two absolutely great Star Trek films. And, of course, with the background of the Star Wars films, you know... Who the hell isn't a fan of the original episodes of 4 through 6? Like, I'm an enormous fan of those three episodes. A lot of people don't like the prequels. <laughs> I like the prequels. What of it? Uh, don't get me wrong. I, I understand the hate for them. There, there is a lot of things bad with them. But I, I personally do like the prequels. So for me, I was actually really, really, really enticed and really, really excited to see this fucking to see this Gundam trailer because you can also see with some of my previous videos on here of me talking about the cast and the title um, you can obviously tell that I am really stoked that I am really 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 stoked to see this because I have my Star Wars hat on and my Star Wars t-shirt on which by the way is awesome and basically is like is it the, the, the way it, he directs his J.J. J. J. Abrams directs his films and his, the, the the type of cast he has for them. For this film in particular, is really really exciting to see. And with this trailer, with this teaser trailer in mind, it's just perfect for it. It shows you what you want to see without it um, ruining or bringing out any huge plot elements or the characters. And it just just gets you so excited and pumped up to see the trailer. Like, like, just absolutely brilliant teaser trailer. It's absolutely just brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I love it. And uh, I'm just going to talk about the main scenes. I'm going to talk to you about, I think, uh, I think it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, there's seven scenes in particular that student for me and the ones that I want to talk to you about. And basically it starts off with this cold and chilly narration. Um, it sounds like for me it was read by either Andy Circus or Benedict Cumberbatch who has not been announced within the films. I'm saying it sounds straight up like Benedict, Benedict Cumberbatch but it's, it's like you know after a lot more listenings it will sound a bit more like Andy Circus. Shut up necklaces. Sort of make so much noise. But it's like, it really, really sounds so bone-chilling and just so cold and dark. And it's just like, oh my god. It, it's just really tense. And it basically explains, like, how both sides of the fourth... <laughs> apologize. Of both sides of the force, you know, like have they, they have both been in summer for a long time. And this is kind of like, they're both their sides coming out of that. And it's like, basically, kind of like a redemption... Redemptioning type of time and era for it, which for me sounds really, really cool and awesome. 
and basically, um, there's a second scene within it, and then there's a good, the next scene after that is basically John, you see John Boyega in the Stormtrooper troop looking really, really, uh, looks, he looked like he was suffering, he looked like he was sweating, he looked like he was in complete agony, and I'm just like, oh my god, it just throws you right into like this one little snippet of action, and it's just like, you get to see a bit of the t intensity of an action scene, and then you see in, 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 uh, like the first 30 seconds within the trailer. It's like, you can basically tell it's on Tatooine. And um, there's a nice scene after that with like a cute, with a cute little robot. And I, I, thought, I personally thought that scene was pretty cute. Of this little robot, it had this moving little bo it had this head in it, like a lower body part, and just the lower body part just basically went like, like that. And I'm like, that's pretty cool. And it's a bit too goofy, but man, what, all the genres of films in the all right are a little goofy. And then um, there's a. There's really, really kick-ass scenes with like some really fast um, zooming shots of um, stormtroopers in like basically I think maybe like a starship or something like that. But you get, some, you get to see some really, really cool moments of these stormtroopers kind of like looking really, really badass and cocking their guns like hell yeah, we're badass soldiers for the Empire or whatever. And it's like this really, really cool. It's really, really, really badass. It's just awesome looking. And then there's a the next scene after that with the, of you get to see um, some X, you get to see some X-Wing fighters fly across, um, uh, over, just like, over, like, it's like, on this much of a space, uh, uh, between of a lake, it's like, just flying over a lake, and it's just beautiful. It really is just beautiful. And, uh, you also get to see, like, that scene in particular with them, with the x with the, I apologize with the X-Wing fighters flying over the ocean part or flying over a lake. It's just beautiful. It was really this breathtaking. I'm just like, it's gorgeously shot. And then the, the next thing. So many people say this is their favorite scene and I can see why. It's basically a scene where you see a Sith Lord walking into a forest, which by the way is gorgeous, like I said before, it's gorgeously shot in this Ex brilliantly shown with good effects, with like really, really good effects, and him of the Sith Lord just walking through the forest like this, and kind of brings out this lightsaber, and then you see kind of like in, and it's kind of like in this broad, broader shape, where it's kind of like, um, you know how in broader, like you have the hilt. On the bronze sword and the sword, and then there's like two little parts that come out the side like that, so that you can keep the sword on its own right. So it gives a head a lightsaber like this, and, so, and then there's like two little lightsaber parts on the side of it that stick out that would take out for some like really unique handwork. I can't wait to see how that looks like, how that looks in some action scenes. That would just look awesome in my view. Oh, mm, god damn. But it's just really, that was just a brilliant scene, and I, I was, that was like the scene, I'm just like, I'm so, I'm sold, I am sold. And, um, and like, basically, that was like the best scene of the trailer, it really, really is. Then after that, you get to see, like, some, this beautiful transitioning shot of, a, of the Millennium Falcon, of, of the camera just flowing it in mid-space, just doing this whole unique type of twist move. It's fun around like that. It's just really, really cool. It's all awesome. It's awesome. Yes. And um, in the end, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. I love this trailer. I would say this is more like a. I don't know what it is, but it's like this trailer looks like it's like really for the fans. Like it's just like. I don't know what it is, but it just screams to me like, "See it, Jack. See it. You know you want to see it." And there's no doubt. You're, but there's like no doubt. I'm gonna make a review of that that when it comes out, and I'm obviously gonna make a review or like another um, my thoughts on the main trailer when that comes out for the Star Wars film. 
And I'm just gonna say over over all things is that this trailer for me truly good so really did just pull me in. It's just gorgeous like shot, just fantastic music and it, the effects look so freaking good. They look really, really great. And in the end, this is just my thoughts on the, on the teaser trailer, everyone. And I really hope you enjoyed me talking, talking and rambling on about uh, me and my fan service type of thoughts of, of the trailer. And I want to know what you guys thought of the trailer too. Tell me down below in the comments in the comment description. I really hope you enjoyed me talking about the movie trailer and go check it out. I will feature a link for it. I will, go check it out. I would seriously highly recommend it. For anyone, like not just any Star Wars fan, but anyone, and it is isn't just not going to be the most anticipated movie of next year. It's going to be one of the most anticipated anticipated movies of the new decade, and maybe even of all time. I have no clue. It's like it's a Star Wars movie, and it's like even people were excited to see the prequels coming out, even though those didn't. We're pretty disappointing for a lot of people, even though I do like them. But in the end, everyone, this is just my thoughts on the stars, on the new Star Wars teaser trailer. And if you enjoyed it, great. If you didn't, fine. But in the end, I loved it, and I'm 100% freaking sold on this. I hope all of you get to see it. Please check it out. I highly implore you. I will feature a link for it. Thank you for watching this video, one, and and as and remember. May the force be with you, always.